Hi there, I thought I'd put together a quick video today on the picture profiles and picture settings that I use for my drone films. Now I'm using the Phantom 3 Professional, uh, but this kind of also applies to the new Phantom 4 because I'm pretty sure the picture profiles are the same, it uses the same DJI GO app. I've been doing quite a lot of experimenting over the last sort of year or so when I've been flying, and I've kind of found a, a sort of set of picture profiles and settings that work pretty well for me. But it's really important to say that there really is no uh, one size fits all. It really depends on what you're filming, the conditions on that day, the, the light, the type of exposure that you're going for, etc. So these are just what have worked well for me. Uh, I'll explain my reasoning behind them. Feel free to try them out. So you access the picture profile settings. We're in film mode. You can also access, access them in photography mode, but this is for the sake of a video capture rather than still capture and you access them by pressing the menu button up here on the screen. And what we'll look at first is the actual styles, so the, the picture styles or the picture profiles if you wanna call them that. If we dive in here, you'll see a list. I'm really only concerned about the top four. The rest are black and white, vivid beach. These are very kind of stylized. The vivid one there we can just see just on this outdoor scene that I've got kind of set up, how garish the sort of colors are. Dream, classic, these are all sort of very stylized ones. Not what I'm looking for, what I want is a fairly kind of neutral picture profile so then I can apply my grade and my color correction later on in post. So the ones you're concerned with are D-Log, D-Cine-like, None, and Art. And what I've actually found is I've sort of flipped between None and actually I've started using the art picture profile quite recently. Now, you'll see that there's lots of videos that recommend the log picture profile or the D-log as they call it on here, and I really don't. And the reason behind that is that the image uh, it tends to produce is kind of very soft and mushy without a lot of detail, I just and, and quite a lot of noise as well. And the sort of main reason behind this is because of the codec that the Phantoms used to record in. It's, uh, without getting too technical, it's an 8-bit 420 at a data rate of 60 megabits per second. And so this is actually a very low data rate. There's not a lot of information uh, in it. And so a log profile really doesn't do it any favors. Log profiles are really kind of suited for higher end cameras that are capturing in 10-bit deeper color spaces with higher bit rates. There's a lot more information in the image. So while it, it kind of sounds cool to shoot in a log picture profile, I've really found through my testing that it doesn't do the image any favors. And the Cine like is almost just a variation of the log profile. I don't really find it that much different. So I'll either shoot in the none, and the art picture profile is a, is a very flat picture profile, but I don't think it's quite a log profile. I've actually found that it retains more details and all of these things that I'm talking about are very subjective, but this is just down to my testing. So the art actually produces a nice, flat, unsaturated image, but it still seems to retain quite a lot of detail, uh, more so than the log profile that I found. So if you want a flat picture profile, my sort of recommendation is to go for the art picture profile. Failing that, if, if you can't decide, none I find is the best. It gives the most sort of natural looking, straight out of camera image and that will work well in lots of different scenarios. So now we're actually go into what they call the style. And I don't know quite why they've named it style. This is actually the fine control of each individual picture profile. So here you can affect, we've got three columns. You've got sharpening, which is denoted by this triangle. You've got contrast, which is denoted by this symbol here. And then you have saturation on the right denoted by, denoted by that symbol there. And so the minimum setting that you can have on all three is minus three. But I would really not recommend this. Uh, I found that the sharpening, if you drop it all the way down, the image is so soft and mushy and you really can't bring that back in post. And that, that's, the, that's the key thing here. And a lot of cameras, you can dial the sharpness down. It's much better to add sharpening in post than it is in camera. But if you take away too much sharpening with the, the Phantom camera, it's it's impossible or I found it impossible to get it back in post. So I don't recommend a minus three on the sharpening. I actually have mine no lower than 
minus one, or generally I will set it to zero. And then my other two, contrast and saturation, once again, I won't knock those down too far. Uh, I will have those set to zero, minus one, and minus one. And it really is a compromise. Like I said before, you don't have lots of information to play with. You've got a low 60 megabits per second codec when recording in 4K. You don't have that much information. You don't want to throw too much of it away. This is what I found best that works well for me. It retains the most information while still giving you the flexibility to be able to grade in post. Okay, so I hope that's been useful. That's just my take on the picture profile and picture settings uh, for the Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4. Um, if you've got any thoughts or any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. Be happy to answer those. And if you've got settings that work particularly well for you, please share them. I'm sure others would be uh, appreciative. And thanks very much for watching.